Well, ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa is expected to be in Cape Town this morning as he continues campaigning in the Western Cape. Now, the province has been out of reach for the ruling party since the DA took over in 2009. But Ramaphosa hopes to turn things around in the opposition stronghold. ENCA senior reporter Avi Wemtila is there and he joins us now. Thank you so much for your time, colleague. Avi, where, of course, um, when we had a little bit of a chat uh, earlier on, you said you were in Nomzamo, which is a township just outside of Strand in Cape Town. And we know that township, of course, about four weeks ago, um, they said that they will not be going to the polls on the 29th of May unless the municipality steps in and clean the sewage in their streets. But, of course, it's also community play by so many different issues. What can you tell us this morning? Many different issues indeed, Baron. As just driving in here, you'd see the potholes riddled roads. If you are to unwind your window, which unfortunately we had to, trying to get directions to come to the Nomzamo Community Hall, you'd just smell the sewage, the stench of sewage uh, from the streets as it, of course, uh, runs through the streets around here. Uh, it's squalor, some of the conditions that the people of Nomzamo are subjected to. A very important vote that they need to do on the 29th of May to decide who governs them to try and turn situ the situation around. Rightfully so, you mentioned that it's day four, in fact, of President Sil Ramaphosa's campaign in the Western Cape. Today, he's targeting Nomzamo. Uh, after being briefed when he arrives here, he'll go on a door-to-door -door campaign, then come back to the Nomzamo Community Hall here uh, to try and convince the electorate here to vote back the ANC into power, which, of course, lost the Western Cape in its entirety some 15 years ago.